And let's see about the merchant guy over here. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. <gasps> ah. You. Wait, Bart. Bart, there we go. So, these things, like Forge Order, Fortify, Conjuration. You. Wait, no. You can have that. Chameleon, that could be useful. Constant effect, no. Summon Skeletal Minion, that could be useful. Frost damage, don't care. Fortify health, really at this point, it's too low. Fortify Axe, don't need it. Fortify Medium Armor, really don't need it. Actually, wait, was that Constant Effect? Constant Effect, never mind. Slow Fall Amulet is actually kind of useful. Look, I, why am I not wearing... That I can get rid of. Six health rubs I can get rid of. For stored health, one point. What? Why is that worth so much? That makes no sense to me. Okay, what else armor-wise do I need? I need a light helmet that is open. Like, I could keep that one. In fact, my character looks pretty snazzy. Like that. Uh, he can wear greaves, right? Yeah, you got some light greaves. Those are boots. Because I have a... Oh, I actually don't have a chest plate. Let's take a light one of those. And he does he not have like shitting greaves? Am I just not seeing them? I don't think he does. Actually, hold on. So this has an armor rating of four. What do these have? Armor rating of two. Are those are the gauntlets. Okay, we can sell those things, and we'll just go with shitting for now. And then, actually, hold on. How much does this have? Two? Four. Okay. My character's gonna look kind of dumb. But okay, I just need some pants. Apparently, you got some pants. I need some pants. That's better. Okay, that's slightly better. A hundred pounds more room, but I could have more than that if I get rid of these... <laughs> actually, almost 200 pounds. More than 200 pounds more if I get rid of more of the stuff. But I think the proper thing to do at this point would actually be... What I'm thinking about doing is not carrying this axe around anymore. Because it's kind of redundant, right? I can summon an axe, so why do I need another axe that I'm carrying around? And then use like this ebony short blade as my main weapon so I could increase my uh, one-handed and I can still carry the shield but this di uh, Daedric di Daya Katana I do not need and honestly it is very I could go look at the money I could get for it. I wonder if I could just leave it on the ground here. We're gonna try that. YOLO, because I don't. Well, no, I. Sh mm. 
Where can I store something like this? I wish there was a bank. This is super annoying. If I were to take something else out of here, let's say this Dwemer thing, right? And then put the... Can I put that in there now? No. Hmm. What if I take the staff out? Can I put the Dagaton in there then now? No. Huh. I don't think they work like that. Okay. I look kind of dumb, but that's okay. For now, anyway. What does that ebony sword look like? It looks pretty cool, actually. So, let's go ahead and... Who has the most money? I think the scamp does. I think that's so dumb, because you could never get enough to do that. But let's do something else really quick. Uh, actually, hold on one second. My apologies. Okay, let's do something else for a couple minutes. Actually, I know what we can do. Because I really need to raise my... Uh, Things still, so let's see what kind of spells this guy has because that firestorm spell kind of sucks. This fireball has to be better than that. Fortified luck. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. Let's compare spells here. So, firestorm 1 to 10 points for 10 seconds on target, fireball is 2 to 20 points. Oh, that was Frost Storm, sorry. 1 to 10. So Fireball does sound like it's better. Because I really need to kill stuff to get my destruction to 50 so I can level up in the Mage's Guild. So, where are the Mud Crabs at? I think all the Mud crabs have been replaced with these Betty and Bull Nutches, which I will happily kill. Maybe. Okay, so destruction is at 50 right now, so if I successfully cast and hit someone, it goes to 51! Oh my word! Now, if I cast a more difficult spell, 56, now I'm out of magic. Seriously, in town. Okay, so, let's try this again. Destruction, 56. Now that was a more complicated spell. That went to 58 that time, so it is better to cast a more complicated spell. And now I have to sleep again. This is an incredibly annoying process. To get my destruction to 50. I might do this off camera, honestly. And now we nap. And my destruction is now 66. Would you look at that? We're going places. Any more small fries I can throw this at? Oh. Can I hit a slaughterfish? Wait, is that a mud crab? I don't think it is. There's that tomb. Oh, actually, hold on. Because we're not, we're only wearing one ring now. And it's a dumb ring. 
we can wear like all these constant effects constant effect rings that I have and then a belt what belt do I have long blade fortify marksman axe or medium armor honestly axe would make more sense for me Hey, buddy. Hold still for a second. Perfect. So that got us up to 73. So wait a minute. Is it changing how much... Okay. Destruction... No? Okay. That's just weird. The, uh... <gasps> How did you spend your day? Uh, I just killed cliff racers all day. Bruh! Actually, I don't think it matters as long as I successfully cast it. Doesn't have to hit the person or thing. I don't think. Oh, hello, Nick Sound. Okay, let's try this. Do some scientific experiments here. So, my destruction skill is 86. If I. Oh. Heck, um, if I simply cast it successfully, 88, okay, we've got it boys. This is dumb, but it will work. What if I'm hitting someone with this? It's kind of funny. Okay, well, I'm not going to do this all on camera, as funny as that would be. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these couple episodes, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.